came across this funny quote the other day. My mind has many tabs open. Made me stop and think. Hmm. In retrospect, it's not really funny. It's just a statement of how we are these days. I'm so busy. This is the automatic response that we give to anything. How are you? Oh, I'm so busy. Want to meet for coffee? Oh, I'm so busy. Can you do me a small favor? Oh, I'm so busy. Being busy is a new I'm fine. And it's not just the adults who are busy all the time. Even our children are overscheduled, overextended, overstressed and busy all the time. And this disease of being busy is the focus of today's conversation. Hi, I'm Sheila and this is Lumia 24. Light on. The dictionary meaning of the word busy is occupied, crowded, demanding, hectic and tiring. All pretty negative full on words. Would you say these are an accurate description of how you're doing right now? Are you constantly bogged down and busy or constantly hectic? Yes, I've been guilty of this too. I still struggle with the concept of stop and smell the roses. I know there are times when I've been left out of family meetings or a movie plan because they automatically assumed, oh, she must be busy. Now, I'm not talking of the kind of busyness when your life is full of activity that brings joy and fulfillment. I'm talking about the kind where we make being busy our identity. And it's a contest that we get addicted to. It's the kind of busyness that makes us feel that we are on a treadmill, running and running and running and getting nowhere. And all the advances in technology have not given us more time. With our smartphones and tabs, we are now complete slaves. The line between work and leisure is blurred. And we are on our devices all the freaking time. Being busy is like a badge of honor that we wear. Have you noticed how often your best ideas come when you're in the shower? Or when you're just waking up from sleep? Do you know why that happens? It's because that seems to be the only time when you're alone with yourself without any distractions. No movies, no phone, no traffic, no family, no pets, just you and your thoughts. In this information overloaded life that we live in, we are mostly living someone else's life. And unless, unless we give our dreams time to formulate and grow, we will simply be helping other people achieve their dreams. In my private coaching sessions, I have a walk with your coach activity where I meet my clients in a park and we only walk and talk very little. There is no solving of life's big or small puzzles. There is no cribbing and complaining. There is no solution to be asked or given or found. Just walk with your thoughts and watch. Watch what happens. You know, we are often so afraid to be with ourselves and we worry that we will be bored or anxious. And that right here is a tool from my toolbox. This one is one of my favorite tools. It's called the sit there process. So here's what you have to do. Every day, find 15 minutes. Sit by yourself all alone do absolutely nothing no music no movies no phone no family no pet nothing just you alone and sit do nothing and observe notice your anxiety to this absolute stillness and notice as it lessens as days pass Notice the insights you get, the flashes of creative ideas. No, 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 no. Don't get up and jump into doing that as yet. Just sit. Observe the silence and notice yourself relaxing into that silence. Become comfortable with your own self. The best way to understand yourself and what you need is to remove yourself from the distraction filled world. It's a great remedy to clear confusion and reset your priorities. You will notice that as you continue sitting doing nothing, you will get more and more comfortable with yourself. You will be less stressed, less confused. You will have time to do some self-inventory. 
slow down let go of things that don't matter and pay attention to that which is important your family your friends your dreams you will get rid of all unnecessary chatter and noise and become responsive not reactive you will truly become a human being instead of a human doing so do you think you could do this have you used any other method to connect yourself write in the comment box below and if you know someone who is a badge carrying member of business squad share this video with them remember the world needs more people like you ready to transform and live in your power so spread the light like share and subscribe